That's a good day, folks. That's a good day when the normal, non-psychopathic man and woman can live freely, can live without the burdens and the rape of taxation, without the, without the intrusion and, and confiscation of private property, and they can be kings and queens in Christ Jesus, on their land, in their kingdom, defending that with the rod of iron. That is the kingdom of God, because all their sweat, labor, and tears will be able to be invested into that kingdom and kingdom building. And of course, because they're not psychopathic sociopaths, they will reinvest it in their communities, in their society, to help train and to help the poor, to help those who are impoverished, even though in the kingdom of God, state welfare is illegal, but private welfare will abound, it will flourish because people, out of the goodness, because the goodness, the good people will be able to flourish, and out of the goodness of the heart of good people flows the richness and abundance of God's gifts, and of course, one of them is charity, and we've seen that. Prior to the welfare state in America, America had over 10,000 charities, so you think about that, the kingdom of God what a wonderful, beautiful picture of freedom of opportunity, freedom to start your own business without licenses, freedom to, 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 to work on the visions that God has given you, freedom to own property without government confiscation, intrusion, and taxes, freedom from taxation, from income tax, property tax, inheritance tax, death tax, you name it, freedom from taxation like the kings enjoy of the past, and a freedom to right to bear arms to protect that kingdom from enemies domestic and foreign what a beautiful place where good people can succeed make prosperity make a success and because they are all trained in the arts of self-defense and the use of force because all citizens are policemen and women and because all citizens are service men and women army men and women even though they become prosperous they will become less likely to fall into hedonism and pleasure-seeking because they are given their life and they may have to sacrifice that life at any time as a policeman, woman, and uh, army men and personnel to stand up against evil wherever it raises its ugly head. So they will have the ethics of honor. They will have the principles of training to understand that they may have to give their life to protect their neighbor, to love God and love thy neighbor. They will understand that just pleasure-seeking and sexual deviance is not what life is about, but has larger principles of honor and warrior code and, 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 and standing up for your fellow man and being there and training hard and being good and being honorable and, and keeping your promises and training with your fellow, fellow citizens and loving God and loving thy neighbor and, and protecting the constitution and the, of, of the kingdom of God and the nation of God and protecting the kingship of Christ, all those things will be ingrained in the society. And so, yes, of course, you will have evil people that may choose to do pleasure-seeking and do things, but they will punish very quickly. Yes, you have evil people that will choose to do criminality, but they will be crushed very quickly with the power of the rod of iron that stands all around them. You imagine if that woman in Russia that we just saw the video, if she was trained and she was armed and that attacker came in, she would have something to do about it. In South Africa, where those violent men, evil men, came in and tried to shoot at the little child and the mother. Those, that whole family would be trained, at least the parents there. The child looked very young. So the parents would be trained in how to defend their home. They would have already thought of different layers of defense around their home that they can do very affordably and cheaply. They may have planted thorny bushes around, a hedge, a protection around their house. Uh, it's a very cheap way to make a fence line that is hard to penetrate. A thorny bush, a lot of roses. You know, you have a lot of roses around your house. Beautiful to see, I'll smell the roses, but lots of thorns. So bad guys can't just run through it, you know? And you have one entranceway through that hedge of, of roses or, you know, other type of bushes and brambles that, you know, you may like, but they have thorns. This is a very natural um, gardening way, agricultural way, so to speak of creating a perimeter around your house. Did you know that? Isn't that a, isn't that a great, a very, very important yes, concept, very important, yeah. tactical concept? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to spend a lot to defend your home. Creating that kind of hedge of roses around your house. Your wife will have you always have free roses. You can give them as gifts and you know, enjoy the beautiful colors and petals. But you have those thorny roses all around your perimeter. Mm -hmm. 
and you have only one entranceway, only one entranceway, which acts as a funnel for enemies have to come in that one area. So you can do things on the cheap. They don't have to be done in an expensive way. Okay, you can do things that add to the beauty of your landscape, but also play a practical deterrent function. See, you not only are incorporating beauty, but you're incorporating reality. You're incorporating the warrior mindset in your gardening design. Do you see? See how different that is? Very different, isn't it? That is the perspective that we must have as armed citizens and kings and queens of the kingdom of God that are co-heirs with Christ. We must have that type of mindset that is able to be of the warrior mindset, that is able to always be cognizant that evil can rear its ugly head at any time. The serpent reared its ugly head in the Garden of Eden, didn't it? So in the kingdom, the serpent will always try to be entering in, which is the reason why we need to create a hedge of protection. We have that from Christ in our spirit, but then we have to materialize that in the flesh as well. Remember, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God's kingdom is on earth, will be on earth, folks, on earth. This is a critical thing for us to understand as we reflect on the rod of iron. We'll be right back after the short break. Stay with us on the King's Report.